Today on Cancer Brief, we're going to look at immunotherapy, a term you might have heard about but may not fully understand. For some time now, doctors have been asking, what if our bodies already possess the ability to stop the growth of cancerous cells? Immunotherapy has been successful in treating some forms of cancer, but what other types of cancer can this treatment be used for, and are there dangers associated with it? We sent Justine Byrne to Moore's Cancer Center at UC San Diego Health to speak with leading expert, Dr. Sandeep Patel, to answer these questions. The National Cancer Institute, a division of the National Institutes of Health, estimated that in 2020, there were approximately 1.8 million new cases of cancer in America. That's over 4,900 people diagnosed a day. Advancements in cancer treatments over the past two decades have lowered deaths from it, but we can do better. Surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, these are common and effective ways cancer is treated. But there is a fourth method doctors have been using. Immunotherapy uses our immune system, the body's natural defense against bacteria or germs, to fight cancer. There are two major forms of immunotherapy that currently exist as anti-cancer treatment. The first are drugs called immune checkpoint inhibitors. These are antibodies that stimulate your own immune system within your body to fight the cancer. The second type of immunotherapy that's currently utilized are called cellular therapies or CAR T cells that work against certain types of leukemia and lymphoma. These involve taking the blood out of a patient and engineering those immune cells to fight their own cancer. The immune system is a natural mechanism. Is it reasonable to say there are no risks associated with it? Absolutely not. Unfortunately, cancer immunotherapy can lead to side effects, really the autoimmune side effects that involve the colon, heart, the lungs. And these are side effects that are very serious and need to be managed with a multidisciplinary team of nurses, physicians, and pharmacists to best keep patients safe while they're getting immunotherapy. Overall, the side effects with immunotherapy are, are less than what we see with conventional chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Some patients have had long-term benefit from cancer immunotherapy, even remissions that last three, five, 10 years. But not all patients benefit, and this is the major focus of clinical trials. What are clinical trials? Cancer clinical trials investigate new therapies to better help take care of patients with cancer. And it's the main reason we've had such a substantial drop in cancer mortality in the past 20 years. Are clinical trials safe? I get this question a lot. Cancer clinical trials are done in the safest way possible, will involve input from patients, patient advocates, as well as the FDA, who ensures the highest degree of safety for the patients. Overall, patients who run clinical trials tend to be safer than those receiving conventional therapy. Who conducts clinical trials? There's many sponsors for clinical trials. Private companies such as pharmaceutical companies work closely with academia and university-affiliated hospitals. There are also clinical trials that are taxpayer-funded through the National Cancer Institute with groups such as SWAT. SWAG Cancer Research Network and its public charity, the Hope Foundation for Cancer Research, have made a big impact on cancer treatments. Their trials have led to the approval of 14 new cancer medications, changed the standard of care over 100 times, and saved more than 3 million years of human life. In S1609, we're investigating two cancer immunotherapies, ipilimumab and nivolumab, and how they work in patients who have rare cancers. What are you hoping to learn from this trial? It's been a big question in the field whether these immunotherapies can work across a variety of tumor types for which these drugs have not been studied. Additionally, we hope to develop lab tests to help better predict which patients may respond uh, to immunotherapies such as these two drugs. So now when you say we, who are you referring to? We is SWOG, uh, which is a member of the NCTN. It's a group of over a thousand institutions that's federally funded that focuses on research into various areas of cancer. I wouldn't have to be in San Diego to participate in S1609. Correct. This trial is open at over 850 sites all across the United States. I think the first step is to talk to your doctor about whether S1609 uh, is an appropriate study based on the cancer type you have as well as the prior therapies that you've had. Or go to the internet at swog.org or clinicaltrials.gov uh, to find the closest site. What's the one thing that you want the public to know about clinical trials and the treatment of cancer? Anytime you're considering a clinical trial, um, understand that one of the things we're focused on in SWOG and throughout the NCI are picking clinical trials that are most likely to help the patient.